Hello, I'm MBX Toycat, and welcome back to episode 232 of my Minecraft Xbox Update Adventures Let's Play. A Let's Play where we've been playing for the various updates that have come out for Minecraft on the Xbox 360. Building stuff, killing stuff, and of course, destroying stuff. And in this episode, we have a thunderstorm. Not something I usually start episodes with. They're kind of, you know, ugly in most circumstances. But for today's insane task, we do indeed need a thunderstorm. And if you're wondering what that insane task is, we're going to be trying one of the hardest things that it is possible to do in survival. And that is we're going to try and get a charged creeper in our survival. World. So, a charged creeper, if you don't know, is what happens when a creeper gets struck by lightning. They are very, very rare occurrences, like, like insanely rare, like, uh, maybe like 0.01% of uh, Minecraft players have seen a legit one. Uh, and yeah, I wanted to get one in this world just to, you know, kind of prove my dedication to something. And uh, my odds of getting it are reasonably low this attempt, but I'm going to be teaching you how to do this so you can have your own one if you want to do it too. Because this is one of those insane high-end goals that I figure I wanted to work towards, and maybe you could learn from too. So, how would you get yourself a charged creeper? So, of course, getting a creeper struck by lightning is such an incredibly rare event that finding one naturally is, you know, something you can kind of rule out. Like I said, like, maybe like 0.1% of players will have the odds of that. But, you know, rather than relying on a rare chance, I'm trying to, you know, leave this down to as much skill rather than chance. So, first thing you want to do is you want to uh, find, get yourself a flat area. You need to have whether it be a plain spine or whether it be somewhere that you've done like me where you've made it flat you need to find a very flat area like this I, I've made one and it's taken me a long time but you know this this is ideal but the flatter the ground the better because you get better visibility and you don't accidentally walk into a ledge and get two creepers to blow up uh, second of all we need to actually eat some uh, bread Oh, you can see it just struck over there. Uh, second of all, what you want to do is you want to wait till nighttime. Now that you have, uh, well, wait till it uh, gets a thunderstorm. Sorry, after you do that, that can actually take some serious time. Each rain can take up to 7.5 Minecraft days, so up to you know just over an hour basically, um, or is that two? Yeah, just over two hours if you include the night too. But it takes up, you know, after. Ooh, uh, did I lose a creeper? No, it's just over there. Uh, but yeah, you need to just wait until it thunderstorms. This can take some time uh, because not even every rain has thunderstorm. But you just have to wait for that. And as soon as you see it thunderstorms, like maybe wait on your phone for a couple of hours while you do that, uh, press the save button. So press start and then save. And this means, oh no, I don't want to have the skeleton following me uh, but this means that every time you load up the world you'll just have the uh, you know you'll have the thunderstorm again and you can try it over and over again uh, without having to wait three hours between each attempt so uh yeah that's this is as you know realistic and even in even in creative this is the best way to do it because there's no creative way to get the uh, creep, uh, ch uh charge creep with a spawn or thing you have to do it this way which i think is one of the cool things about it there's no way anyone can say you did this in creative because it's just as difficult in creative and by just as difficult i mean insanely difficult anyway next up once you've waited for night time you've saved it you've done that stuff every Every single night, what you want to do is you want to collect creepers by, you know, finding creepers and... Oh, I'm going to have to kill that skeleton over there. By finding uh, creepers... Like, I need to get this one to aggro on to be just over here. Uh, by finding creepers, getting them to follow you, and then starting a little collection of creepers. The the reason you want to do this is... Oh, the creeper over there, stop following me. Okay, come back, please, creeper. I love you. Um, But yeah, the, the, the reason you want to do this is because it will want... Ah, oh, it's striking just over there, so close. If you're wondering, it's random, so I'm not going to try and follow the strikes around, because, oh, that seems like an easy way... Oh, we got four creepers now, that's nice. Um, oh, it's, see, it's coming closer, maybe... Uh, uh, there isn't actually a pattern, but let's believe there is. Then what you want to do, once you've got a big horde of creepers, always try to increase it, but just run around the area, uh, try and make sure none of them blow up, and try and make sure you don't get killed by anything, wh whatever that might be. And you basically, your odds of any one night producing a charged creeper are low, but if you... If you look around, like, these these uh, lightning strikes are striking pretty close. So, yeah, the really cool thing about lightning is lightning is such a wacky thing in Minecraft. Like, because it's such a rare occurrence and, you know, having it strike something is so rare, it does weird things to so many mobs. So, if um, lightning strikes a pig, you get a zombie pigman. If lightning strikes an empty villager, you get a witch. And if lightning strikes a creeper, you get this super, super rare mob that we're going to hope we get today. As, as I said, my odds are reasonably low this night. Uh, my, my, you know, like, I did some very rough calculations, and your odds per any night are roughly, you know, it, if you get 10 creepers to follow you, it's roughly 1% every time. So if you do this a uh, 100 times, roughly, you should eventually end up with a charge creeper, and that's the end goal here, and I'm really hoping that pays off. So there's two creepers over there I'm going to try and get, and hopefully we get a charge creeper on the way. But yeah, so, um, we're, really what we're just, we're, what you're hoping for is luck. You just need to make sure the creepers are exposed to the potential of lightning, and as soon as you get one, of course you want to, you know, try and stay away from it, you don't want to explode it, maybe even save the game if you can. Oh, oh, it's over there now. Yeah, you can see, we we really, really want this lightning to hit somewhere nearby, because that would be a very cool thing. So, our creeper group is going up, up and up and up, which is good, because that increases our odds of light. Like, if the, I've seen lightning strike literally two blocks to the right of the creeper before, and it was like, ah, because this is, you know, like, the tenth time I've tried, oh, I hate this. <laughs> and, um, 
It's pretty cool. Oh, it's, see, it's just over there. Like, that was ten blocks away. We're, we're getting closer and closer each time that's what we're doing. So while we do this, and I might get distracted every now and then, because there's literally... There's lightning, there's creepers, it's everywhere. Uh, what we do? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that was so close. Because when one creeper blows up, it usually kills all the other creepers. But uh, what I wanted to talk about, because this is something I do at the start of every Let's Play, is what I've been up to this week. So, um, actually, I, di I didn't speak about this last week, but I went to Denmark with Lion, you might have known. And uh, this week I just did more college stuff. So I'll talk about Denmark a bit because I haven't really. Uh, it was a really, really fun time. Um, Scandinavia, like, you know, the, the, the thing everyone tells you, it's like everyone there is so attractive and so, you know, nice. That's true. Everyone was just so nice and everyone was like supermodel level of attractiveness. It was, it was crazy. So, you know, if those are two things you admire in people, then I guess Scandinavia is the place for you. So... Yeah, th this creeper collection we're getting is pretty solid. Uh, I want to take out these uh, zombies at some point, but they're too close to the creepers, so I have to leave them uh, for now because I only have three arrows, as you can see. Uh, let's try and... Okay, we're going to get this creeper too. Uh, you can see daytime's coming, but the thunderstorm doesn't stop for daytime. In fact, daytime is kind of easier. It just means no more creepers can spawn, but your current creeper group can keep running around. Uh, but yeah, I went to Denmark last week, and it was actually it was really amazing. I, I really am going to... Like, once a month or so, I want to just go to another European country. Oh, that... Oh, no, 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 no. Bad zombies. Okay, no no hit by lightning just yet. Yeah, lightning strikes roughly every, like, ten seconds. And we just needed to hit one of these creepers one time. And that sounds like... Because, you know, it can hit anywhere in the world. It sounds like it's insane difficult. And it is very... But it's not quite as difficult as you might figure. It really is just about... Uh, hoping for the best <laughs> and really believing in yourself. So, uh, yeah, I don't know how long this thunderstorm has left, but let's uh, believe it's a while. And in the meantime, let's talk about some other stuff I was thinking about this, because that's what the Let's Play is about. It's just me talking, rather than about any specific Minecraft thing, which I still do do. I, I, I like, to, oh no, you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't. Okay, this 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 creeper group is terrible. Actually, let's use uh, an arrow to take out this skeleton, uh, because I do not want you following me and killing this uh, creeper. Okay, did I do it? I did. There we go. Uh, see, perfect use of the arrows right there. I don't know how many creepers are in this group, but it's at least ten. Uh, at the very least, we'll have a funny group of creepers following us. Uh, this this feels a lot like uh, the COD Zombies mode in um in uh, like Black Ops about World War and stuff. But anyway, let's start talking about uh, like something I thought was interesting because I, I was thinking to myself like so you know nakedness is the default form humans are in at some point because you know what what we do as humans is we make tools to make life easier. For, let's just charge into this uh, skeleton. We make tools to make life easier for ourselves. That's uh, what defines us as a species to some extent. Uh, has lightning stopped striking? Striking. I hope it hasn't. I'll, I'll save it. Yeah. Oh no, it's still striking. It's just daytime striking. That's good. That's good. Uh, no, the mobs aren't despawning, but they will eventually. And uh, yeah, we still have a little bit of hope left to get a charged creeper tonight, because that'd be an amazing thing to catch on this particular video. But uh, yeah, this will be something I try regardless of whether it succeeds here, because I really want to do this. Anyway. Um. Yeah. So um. At some point, like, humans, you know, made, started making clothes, and that became the default thing. And at some point, being naked became illegal. And I wonder if at first, like, that wasn't about, you know, like, public indecency. That was just about, like, ah, oh, well, you know, some people might go crazy and not want to wear clothes and die. Because, you know, like, at, at some point, being naked was the default. Now wearing clothes is the default. And it's weird that there was just some transition period where someone made being naked illegal. And, yeah, now I've got a big old group of creepers and one skeleton that's going to die. Uh, should I keep these? Actually, what I might do, yeah, I might keep these creepers somewhere safe. Should I make like a little? <laughs> that's a really good idea. I'm gonna make like a little uh, a safety deposit box for all these creepers because then when it's next raining, I can just let them loose. This is gonna be insanely difficult, and I will die if I mess this up. Oh, there's two creepers over there. Let's go get them. Yeah, this this. <laughs> I'm gonna try and count the creepers. This is gonna be my fun game today. So one, two, three, four, five. This is this is a fun little game. Oh wait, wait, wait. One. You can pause the video, but I can't. But uh, <laughs> so you have an advantage here. But I think that's twelve creepers, and this would make it fourteen. That's that's my estimation. Uh, fun fact about estimation, by the way, uh, humans are really good at like guessing to the nearest like order of magnitude, but not really much else. But uh, anyway, yeah, that's um. What what I was also uh, what's what's happened recently is in the UK one of our like big theme parks because uh, I went to a theme park in Denmark just as it like the same day this happened uh, was uh, like actually like. Some really bad thing happened. A like an inactive cart ran into one that was active, and like saw like it it hurt like twenty something people, and four of them were hospitalized. And like you know, it's like roller case roller coasters, maybe not so safe. And to me, I hear this and I think, oh, I wish I could go the day after. Because the day after there's a big accident, everyone's so cautious of going. Because, you know, everyone thinks if something happened one day, it's more likely to happen the next. But in fact, the opposite's true. And I, I you know, the 
how am I going to even do this, actually? Well, oh, wait, what I'd have to do... Okay, this is going to be a real challenge, because I've got to kite around the zombies. I'm, I mean, the, the uh, creepers. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to... Uh, man, this is going to be a challenge. I'm going to dig a hole in the wall. Okay, so I need to... Right now, okay. Go, 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 go. Oh, I don't have space. Okay. What I'm going to have to do... Throw the bones on the ground. Switch out to the cobblestone. I have to charge in there, and then I have to... Okay, let's, let's see if we can do this. Let's keep them nearby us so they don't despawn, but not so close they follow us, hopefully. Uh, did we achieve that? Did we achieve that? Did we achieve that? No, no, that we did not achieve that. But yeah, we're going to try and lock them in a hole because I figure it is actually possible if we make a long enough tunnel. And look how many creepers we have here. Like, this is this is a solid 15 creepers. I don't want to waste 15 creepers because I, if I if, if you just get, like, 40 creepers following you, then you can get this happen a lot easier the next time it turns night time. So yeah, let's try this again. Try this again. Okay, I'm going to charge it. I'm going to charge it. I'm going to charge. Okay. Go, go. Okay. I did something. Uh, I can't see right. I don't have any torches. So now all I have to do is just break my way this way until I find some air pocket. Oh, no. Okay. They're there. They're there. Okay. So I just have to find some way of... Okay, wait. I have to be really careful. <laughs> okay, I'm going to break the block. Okay, there is there is some creepers in there. So what I just have to do is make it so more creepers can get over there. Oh, no, no, no. You don't. No, you don't. Okay, so this was a... Ch okay, I, if I get around there quick enough... Okay, no, this <laughs> this worked out the exact opposite of how I figured it would. Uh, so let's run, 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 run. Okay, they didn't explode. So I did get two creepers in the wall. My plan was very flawed, it seems. So yeah, I, I need to lock these. Oh, wait, I'll lock them in the... No. I need... I, for next time, I need to have like a box I can lock creepers in. Because there are quite a few locked in that little cavern right there, actually. Uh, but yeah, I need, to, I need to have a better solution. Because, uh, yeah, this isn't working. So, uh, I don't even know if uh, creepers might despawn, even if... Like, I, I don't know if creepers are like uh, cows, where they won't despawn if they're close enough to you. But yeah, let's try and get rid of them. Let's use them to blow up the mountain, maybe? Because we, we, have, we have some explosive power. Let's use it to, like, do some explosive mining. So it's going to be tricky to do it that way, because one of them will blow up the rest. But, you know, it, it's creeper mining. It's a, <laughs> it's a brand new thing I've just come up with right now. And uh, it might just save me some time. Because I do have this big hill I need to get rid of. So let's let's go ahead. Let's use the creepers to do it. So creepers over here. I've got some stuff needs blowing up. Uh, please could you do it? I wish I could blow up obsidian because it would make that farm a lot easier. So yeah. I just need to... Uh, this is... The, the risk of death here is just insane. Okay. So now we do that. Okay. I <laughs> that was a bit overkill in the explosion. We wait till one gets close to us. And then we let you blow up. Boom. Oh, and <laughs> watching creepers going flying as like other ones charge into them is kind of hilarious to me. Uh, as you can see, we're going to have to do a lot of regenerative work but here, but I think in general, not too bad given the uh, imprecision of the whole thing. So, creeper, come after me, please. Where, where'd he go? There was there was one just round this corner. Oh, he's, he's trapped in the hole. Oh, he lost me. Oh, I'm sorry, little creeper. Anyway, yeah, we need to get him to go like right in the middle here. This is this will be a perfect explosion place. You, by the way, if you want to get them to explode right the place, you just you stack you back away just before they explode, and you make sure there's like a three or four block gap. Also, what you can do, uh, another pro tip: let's get some more creepers towards us, shall we? If you place a block down, one block in front of you, and like if there's one block between you and the creeper, you still will only take half a block of damage, regardless of what the block is, even if it's glass, even if it's uh, something that doesn't make any sense. So like this, for instance, as you see, like zero zero hearts damage. I'll do the same thing again just now. Oh, wait, I was. I wasn't close enough to it, but still, you can see I'm I'm doing a lot of damage to the floor here, but I am I am starting to think. So that that did save me quite a bit of time. I do have quite a bit more dirt than I otherwise would, and uh, <laughs> overall not too much of a waste. So yeah, I will be trying trying this charge group thing another night. This is my ultimate survival goal. I really want. In fact, at some point, I might start like making a cage for him first, so I don't have to do that when there's one chasing me. Because we all just saw how well I can deal with pressure when there's a creeper that's chasing me so yeah that might be something i do anyway let's uh let's focus on this big old cobblestone thing magic because we did get lots of cobblestone out just so we could do this is there a creep following me no there's not uh i i do have a world border that will separate off from the rest of the world when the next update comes out uh because i will be switching to xbox one and oh, I, i'm 90 percent sure anyway because i want to show you the new biomes i don't want to have a world that only has old biomes because they'll be you know staying in the past this is the update adventures and the only way to get the new biomes in an old world is to expand it which is what i have to do uh, which uh, I know some people aren't that amazed with, but I might do, you know, like a 360 style. I'll, I'll still do like 360 streams and stuff because that's something I totally want to do. So yeah, let's uh, 
what we're going to be doing is we're going to make the cobblestone base that we're then going to put the walls on. Because this is going to be separating the old world from the new. So if you want to believe it's just the, you know, 360 size world, which I'm going to pretend to do at some at that point, uh, that, you know, I can still stay in those boundaries. But then I can explore outside it when I need to. And that should be pretty cool in my opinion. So... Uh, yeah, we this this uh, border. I've actually completed about three quarters of the world now. Uh, if you look on a map, which I'll do in a second, uh, let's uh, just place these last four blocks, shall we? Uh, if you check on the map just here, uh, all we have to do now is get from here to the end of the world there, and then about halfway down the left side of the map, and then the entire border is complete. And I'm I'm pretty impressed with that. Like the amount of cobblestone this has taken. Oh, it's it's not as if cobblestones in any real shortage in my world. Like the closest it ever came to being a shortage is like I only had one and a half chest full when I made the, the massive cobblestone fifty by fifty by fifty cube. So uh, I guess it just goes to show you just uh, you don't really uh, need to worry about this stuff there. So. Also, by the way, uh, it's funny. I have like I really want to get Neverack, but there's no. Maybe you could go me in the comments to like an easier way. But I I can't think of a proper way of getting Neverack in my world because. Uh, you can go to the Never, you can just mine it, but that's either a waste of iron, of diamonds, or you have to do it of stone, which is you know horrifically slow. Uh, you know you can wait for gas to blow you up, but then you only get about like ten each time. It's not very efficient. I'm trying to work out like a good way to get a bunch of Neverack because I need literally eight thousand Neverack and. You know, that's going to waste uh, an entire round of this pickaxe. No, uh, one, uh, one and a half entire rounds of the Nightcap V5, which is like 30-something levels. Uh, no, wait, that'd be six... Like, yeah, like 60 levels, basically. Um, which is, you know, that's that's a lot of levels. No one wants to be spending 60 levels just to get some Neverack. Um, the the other thing, uh, though, I'm, I'm recently being thinking about is that charge group thing. That, that, that was literally been uh, all I've been doing for this past week, like... Well, you know, in this Let's Play world, like, I've been like, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, just after I finished last week's episode, I'm like, okay, we're gonna power through this, we're gonna believe we can do this, and I'm just gonna spend hours, and I, you know, th that was maybe my 15th, maybe my 10th, somewhere in that, you know, double digits, uh, kind of line for attempt, and we're not getting it just yet, but since the average would be 100, because I, I worked out that there's about 20,000 blocks in that field, lightning strikes about 20 times per night in the field, if you have 10 creepers, that means about 100 nights. Um, but yeah, all, all it takes is uh, me to just do those other 90 nights at some point. They are 10 minutes each, so that, that's going to be a solid, uh, what would that be, like uh, 9, no wait, 15 hours? I, I don't know if I got the maths right there. Yeah, fi 15 hours dedicated to it, or maybe it's 1.5. No, it's, it's 15 hours dedicated to it, which is a lot of time to dedicate, but I think if I do eventually get that charged creeper, the... Uh, the joy in my face and the joy in that video will be immense. So, yeah, just that's that's an insane project for the world I want to keep my eyes on. Because that's what I like to do in Minecraft. Doing Minecraft, that next level insane. Um, and, uh, yeah, I haven't really done many stuff like that since the... Uh, like, the gold farms are work in progress and uh, the sugarcane farm. Uh, there aren't many insane, insane projects in the world. I'd like to have more. Because, uh, you know, I, I, like, I like sanity from time to time. But I also like insanity. In fact, yeah, I, I mostly like insanity. So, uh, yeah, we should be coming really close to the actual border of the world here. Like, uh, we've got some ice that we'll just uh, deal with here. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering, this is a very glitchy corner of the world. Because I just didn't render this corner of the world right here. And I probably mentioned this in Let's Play before. But it means because I uh, I generate all the way up to this chunk right here. And you can tell this is a chunk border. Uh, basically, it means that right here this was just something else and then this chunk generated and as you can see it's like it's just a massive wall along here and it's something it's like a beauty of nature because of the way i accidentally generated the world and it's getting very dark and i don't remember where my nearest bed is so uh yeah that might be actually if it no it won't rain it rained it literally yesterday um but yeah that is uh this episode then i guess um I hope you did enjoy it. If you did like it, please do like it and let me know. Uh, it's a good way to let me know like the video. Share it if you really like it and subscribe if you're new around here. I do videos like this every single day on my channel, including a Let's Play every Monday. It's called the Update Adventures because when an update comes out, we cover it in these adventures of sorts. Um, and I'm actually really excited about that next uh, update. Oh, that's ice. I was wondering, like, what is that floating blue line? But it's just ice. Um, yeah, I, words and stuff. I said lots of them. I hope you enjoyed them. And I'll see you all in the next video. Oh, I can just go under here. That's nice. Yeah, I'll see you all in the next video.